the White Ferns have prevailed in a remarkably seesaw match against the West Indies at Pukekura Park to wrap up a five-match T20 series with two games to spare. The Windies needed just five runs off the last over but Anna Peterson took two wickets and a run out to restrict the West Indies to 133-7 and win the match by one run, scorecard, as it happened the White Ferns had their backs to the wall early doors after the West Indies held the hosts to 134-7 from their 20 overs. Sophie Devine was in great form as she blasted 41 off just 18 deliveries but she was one of the only White Ferns batters who looked comfortable at the crease. West Indies spinners proved tricky to get away with Haley Matthews, 3-24, doing plenty of damage while Deandra Dodden, 2-23, also bowled well for the visitors. It was left to Susie Bates to battle through the tough periods and guide the White Ferns through to a respectable total. The White Ferns captain took her time to get going but carried her bat through the innings and brought up a well-earned half-century, with a boundary off the final ball. A fighting 52 from Susie Bates and 41 off 18 from Sophie Devine says the White Ferns post 134 from their 20 overs. Over to the bowlers. Follow a live film projector https colon slash slash t dot co slash 9 web opag xf movie camera. It was up to the White Ferns spinners to keep them in the game and it was Lee Kasparik who struck first with the big wicket of Taylor, 14, before making it 2-2 two two with a dismissal of Chedian Nation, 8 in the her next over. Then it was the leg spin of teenager Amelia Kerr who drew a loose shot of big hitting opener Haley Matthews, 14, who was caught skillfully by Maddie Green. That left the match evenly poised with the Windies 43-3 at the end of the seventh over. Deandra Dodden smacked a few boundaries but the pendulum swung back the White Ferns way in the twelfth over when she departed to leave the Windies 73-4. It was going down to the wire, much like the first game, as Susie Bates rotated her bowlers well to keep Marissa Aguilera and Keisha Knight contained. Grimace Eyes Film Projector HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash nine web opag xf movie camera pic dot twitter dot com slash on woo white ferns at white underscore ferns March 20th 2018 the West Indies looked in the box seat though, as Aguilera and Knight got the tourists through to needing just 12 runs off as many balls but in similar circumstances to the first match the white ferns built pressure with tight death bowling. Sophie Devine conceded just seven runs from the penultimate over before Anna Peterson's two wickets and a run out took the wind out of the West Indies' sails. The fourth T20 is back at Pukekura Park on Thursday.